Welcome to our special Valentine's Day edition of the Community Christian um, video message kind of series that we've been putting out. Uh, we want to take a little bit of time tonight to talk to you about marriage. Uh, we are absolutely not marriage experts. Uh, both of us have been previously married, and we, uh, we just kind of want to give a, a second to talk to you about what works for us and read some scripture to you and just kind of hopefully give a, a little bit of encouragement to you tonight. Um, we want to go ahead and just start this by saying we, we definitely realize that not all of you are married. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We, uh, we hope that you are having a, a decent night tonight. We know Valentine's can be kind of a, a difficult time for folks, especially there, uh, some of those folks that you know that are single and really don't want to be. But um, we just want to um, take a moment tonight to kind of read some scripture again and just encourage you and share a handful of things that we do that is making our relationship different from past ones uh, and much, much more successful and uh, happier. Uh, give you a little bit of background on us. We haven't, uh, like most people, always had the happiest of marriages. We've had our share of fights and our share of arguments. Uh, we've also had our share of amazingly good times. And uh, again, it's, there's, there's nothing wrong with arguing. And there's nothing wrong with fighting because it's something that's to be expected. Uh, it's how you do it and how you recover from it that makes the difference in a relationship, especially uh, for us. Because again, we, we fight like everybody else, don't we? <laughs> we fight just, just a little. Every once in a while it happens. And there's, there's just a... Um, Again, it's, it's what you do and how you recover from it uh, that makes the, the main difference in your life. Uh, one of the things that uh, makes a huge difference for us, uh, we pray for each other. We pray for each other almost on a daily basis. It's something that we've developed and it has become a, you know, a daily thing for us now where we, we both spend time each day praying for each other, praying for our kids, praying for our, our families, uh, friends. And not only do we pray for each other, but we talk about it. Uh, we discuss it with each other. And we, you know, she'll always ask me, like, what are, what did you pray about tonight? Or what are you, and a lot of times I might roll over and nudge her, hey, what are you doing? And she'll just ignore me. <laughs> I'll sit there like, what's going on? And she'll roll over about five minutes later, I was praying, what are you doing? <laughs> so um, we, we'd encourage you, if you don't spend time in prayer with your spouse, uh, or you don't spend time in prayer for your spouse, try it. See the difference that it will make in your relationship. See the difference that it will make in your relationship with God. Uh, it changes the way that you parent your children. Uh, it changes the, you know, basically everything that you do. Everything that you do and also everything that you don't do. Things that you try and avoid. And it helps, to, helps you get to uh, common ground with each other. And... You know, Valentine's Day for a lot of people is about gifts and, you know, dinners and limo rides. Uh, there, there's a lot better gifts that you can give someone that is not a monetary thing. Uh, praying for someone and encouraging someone and learning how to, simple as learning how to argue with someone, uh, is a big, a big thing. And one of the best gifts you could ever give your spouse is to learn how to control yourself and learn how to... Uh, how to rebound from things appropriately and scripturally. Uh, we want to read a couple of verses to you. I'm going to start in Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. It's Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10. That's pretty uh, a pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory verse. Uh, just simply put, when the two of you work together and stop working against each other and stop blaming each other for things, the stronger you'll be, the, the better your relationship with each other will be, the better the relationship with your children will be, and your relationship with God will be a huge thing and it will grow together. And as you grow together, we'll, we will definitely not tell you things get easier. But it's a lot easier for you to recognize and realize what's going on in your life and who you're fighting and who you're battling. Uh, we've all seen the War Room movie where a marriage was saved. 
Uh, we actually watched that movie together. And it was kind of funny because a lot of the stuff that was in the movie are things that we already do. Um, so it was just, you know, it's kind of interesting to us to see that, you know, see that movie. But, you know, it, it's a, one of those things that we've already experienced with our marriage as we've grown because we haven't always had this relationship with each other and with Christ as we do now. And uh, the deeper we've gotten into this and the more committed that we've gotten to this, the, uh, the better things have gotten for us. Uh, our businesses have grown. Our children are seeking God now. We've had kids that have been you know, recently baptized. We have kids that are wanting to be baptized and that are they're hungry for the Word. Bethany does a Bible study with the kids every night, which is really a cool thing. Uh, usually I come home and I... And they ask for it. Yeah, they do. And they, they ask for it when they get home. They, they, if I forget, they will remind me. And they, they make sure that we... They make sure that we are doing what we're supposed to do, and it helps keep us accountable. Um, also, a lot of a lot of you don't know that she does a lot of the stuff with the group, uh, as far as you know, editing and posting things and adding all you know, adding the members and making sure that things are running smoothly. I tend to do more of the uh, more of the material that gets put out and the videos, and I do a lot of the you know, a lot of the in and out type of teaching things but she kind of does the behind the scenes things which is like the coolest thing about a marriage is having you know like they say with Christians as iron sharpens iron well it's the same thing with a with a marriage you know she she supports me uh, she supports me with my business she's also my bookkeeper and she's pretty good at it and so you know it might be middle of the day sometime and I'll call and hey I need you to do this real quick can you do this real quick and she does it and she does it without question and well uh, I say most of the time without getting mad about it but it's it's just a really we have a really interesting dynamic uh with us just because we both you know we both own businesses and work from the house so we spend a lot of time together um we spend a lot of time with our kids i mean just uh you know one of the most important things to us is dinner every night we we eat dinner at the table every night uh that's another thing i'll tell you if you're not doing we would encourage you to do that. We spend a lot of time with our kids just at the dinner table. They learn a lot about life from something as simple as learning how to clean up, <laughs> learning how to do the dishes, uh, you know, th things like that. Where we spend time and we talk about our day and we talk about, you know, talk about what's gone on at school with the kids or ball and baseball or basketball or whatever their gymnastics, whatever they're doing. And also with whatever I'm doing with church and whatever she's doing with church and work. And the dinner time, uh, dinner table rather, is a really good kind of place to come together and have a family meeting also while having dinner. It's really a, a, an awesome thing that we would encourage you to do. Uh, we're going to read you another, or she's going to read you another verse from uh, Ruth chapter 1. Verse 16 and 17. But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. And that's a, another really good verse from Ruth where she's talking about being, being dedicated to her husband and, and supporting him, and that you know basically that she'll never leave him. And uh, we've, uh, we've made a kind of a, a promise to each other that we, you know, we will not divorce no matter what. That that's not going to happen again. Again, both of us have been previously married, and uh, we we're just tired of it. Uh, we've both seen firsthand what it does to a family and what it does to the kids, and we're not willing to let that happen again. Uh, so we stay together through thick and thin, and we fight for our marriage. And a lot of you that know us have known we've had some knockdown dragouts, but here we sit. Uh, here we sit together and. The, uh, the word and the scripture is solely responsible for that and you know also the support of others around us now uh, it, it really helps to have someone that you can bounce ideas and bounce things back off of including this group I, I literally walked in one night and said hey I'm gonna start this Christian community group she goes what <laughs> you're gonna do what but we were we were already adminning other groups together uh, we run a couple of a uh, yard sale page, which is, uh, I'm you know, sure all these people are on yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, just about everybody's probably on it. We run the Pinson Clay Trustful online yard sale, and we also run what's happening in Clay, 
uh, which is probably about what 22, 23,000 members. So we, we manage these groups together and we've kind of already got that dynamic. So I just told her one night, hey, why not? Well, we're already doing this. Let's take on uh, let's take on Facebook as a mission field and let's see where it leads. Uh, and that's kind of how this group came about uh, with her support and with support of you know several other people. And we, we do a lot of this from home. So uh, again, it's just one of those things where we, we like to encourage you guys today, not just to give gifts, but to give gifts of your time, yourself, and of your spirit to your spouse so that you strengthen them and encourage them. Um, just, just from our experience, we find that it's a lot more beneficial to pray for someone and encourage someone than it is to get angry with someone. Uh, it tends to work out a lot better. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with giving gifts. So uh, I hope you guys have remembered that. Uh, I did, actually. I've got mine right here. And I didn't want to embarrass her, but I'm going to embarrass her. So, happy Valentine's Day. You have to open it. I had to do it on the group because I had to embarrass. Yeah. She's probably going to be mad later. <laughs> I guess I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Thank you. But, uh, everybody says diamonds are forever, but uh, prayer and a, uh, a commitment to one another and a constant back and forth with each other and a constant, you know, run of encouragement and a constant, you know, constant walk that you share with God will last longer than any diamond, any present, any gift, anything you could ever give someone. Uh, we encourage you, if you're, if you're single and you are not, uh, you know, not, not currently married and you don't have any, any plans to be anytime soon, that you, uh, you try and find someone that is not just good for you, but is good for your spirit and someone that Jesus would have you to be with. Uh, we encourage you guys to not go out there rushing to find the next best thing, but maybe uh, take a step back and pray about it and spend some time trying to figure out what is the, uh, what's the best route as far as is this guy a Christian? Is he going to uplift me or is this woman a Christian? You know, looks and things don't always matter. If you, uh, if you really take time and really pray about it and really wait for the right time, things just happen. Uh, the two of us actually met online. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff that we do comes on the comes off the internet. <laughs> we actually met online at a time that both of us weren't really seeking anyone, uh, and it just kind of happened. Uh, and again, it's something that God had planned that we both never really expected. We just kind of met, and it just kind of worked out. And I don't I don't think we ever even actually started officially. Never left. Yeah, I never left. Like I don't think we, uh, I don't never think we left. ever after actually started dating or anything. It just, it was literally we started talking. Well, we spent three weeks on the phone, two weeks on the phone, and then I, I met her and it, and left. just and just yeah, again just. Well, your never, mom was out there thinking yeah. never. <laughs> My mom was happy to see me leave, but again, God has plans for you that are not your own. He has plans for you that you will never understand, that you're not supposed to understand. And if you just spend time sitting back and listening and waiting for his response for things, it's amazing what he will do. And we share stories with each other all the time. Where, hey, guess what happened today? This and this and this. She's like, huh. <laughs> you know? You or, just shared one about your truck on the yeah. group. Two trucks, actually, two trucks back to back where we had something just huge happen, something that was undeniably God. Uh, and it's really cool that we get to do that together and we get to spend time, you know, discussing these things. So, uh, again, if, if you're single and you are searching or not searching, we just encourage you to find somebody that, someone that 
builds you up spiritually, someone that doesn't pressure you into things uh, that you either aren't supposed to or don't want to be pressured into. Uh, we just encourage you to find someone that's, that's godly. And that's simply put, find someone that's godly, find someone that lines up. And uh, my best advice to anybody, and again, I am no marriage expert, but my best advice to anybody is don't settle. Don't settle for someone that's not exactly what they're supposed to be. Don't try and change someone into something that they're not. Uh, that's, that's a lot of, you know, one of the main things we see with marriages from our friends and people around us that have failed is, oh, he just won't do this and I'm trying to make him better and he just won't, or she's doing this and this and she's running around and I just can't make her better. You, you can't make anybody do anything. Only God can do that. Uh, and not until they want to change themselves. Exactly. And if you have, if you're with a spouse right now that's not a Christian, uh, we encourage you, don't give up. Pray for them, love them, support them, show them what you're supposed to show them. Uh, and it'll happen. It'll happen. It happened with me. It, it definitely, definitely happened with me. And she prayed and supported and, and loved on me and loved on me and loved on me until eventually I gave up. And why is this girl still alive? <laughs> why is she still here? Uh, I'm sure she asks why I'm still here all the time. So. But, uh, again, we just wanted to put this message out tonight. This is a, kind of an impromptu thing, but we just kind of wanted to put this out tonight on Valentine's, or night before Valentine's Day, rather, so that we could uh, just take a moment to encourage you guys. Uh, we thank you for being part of this group. We think it's awesome. Uh, share we, it with your friends. Yeah, please, please continue to share it, continue to grow it. We have full intention of having this group go into other countries here shortly. Uh, we're working on some translation and some technical aspects of that. But uh, that's that'd be my and volunteer to do some messages. You can yeah. come to our house. Yeah, come to our house. We do this right in our office. So if, if you'd like to, you can come and... 15 uh, minutes. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes, come teach a lesson. Uh, if you're like me, it takes about 14 takes because you're like, oh, I screwed this up this first. one. Yeah, this we'll is our first one. We'll we're messing up. Yeah, it will be too it's long. It's probably over. All right. But anyway, guys, uh, we'd like to pray for you here before we leave. Uh, and we just, again, we want to thank you for being a part of something that we believe is going to be huge. Father God, thank you for this day. We thank you for, um, we thank you for the special ones in our life and for our spouses, Father. We pray that you will teach us to... Uh, encourage them and build them up father we teach us uh, pray that you'll teach us to learn how to argue and learn how to fight productively without causing harm to one another lord uh, without making each other stray away from your word and your love father we thank you for the grace that you've shown us uh, father i thank you for my wife uh, i thank you for my uh, my family uh, we pray that this message goes out and find someone else in need and find someone that needed to hear just a quick encouraging word tonight, Lord. Uh, we ask that you will continue to bless this group and grow this thing. Uh, we ask these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.